Welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting into the power of your subconscious mind by Joseph Murphy. We're going to begin with chapter one, the treasure house within. I've covered the pocket edition on the channel before, but I haven't covered the full version of this book yet. And I wanted to cover this because I absolutely love this. And I love the connection between Joseph Murphy and Abdullah, just like Neville Goddard and Abdullah and how closely related their teachings are together. And this is a highly requested a book that I cover and I'm going to create a playlist so you can go back and watch these anytime you want so you just go to the main page on my YouTube channel and you'll see playlists click on the playlist and you'll see all the itemized playlists for each individual book that I do cover so like reality transurfing the master key system neville goddard readings it's all the playlists are all there so you can go back and reference any chapter that you want at any time so let's go ahead and jump into chapter one the treasure house within you infinite riches are all around you if you will open your mental eyes and behold the treasure house of infinity within you there is a gold mine within you from which you can extract everything you need to live life gloriously, joyously, and abundantly. Many are sound asleep because they do not know about this gold mine of infinite intelligence and boundless love within themselves. Whatever you want, you can draw forth. A magnetized piece of steel will lift about 12 times its own weight. And if you demagnetize this same piece of steel, it will not even lift a feather. Similarly, there are two types of men. There is the magnetized man who is full of confidence and faith. He knows that he is born to win and to succeed. Then there is the type of man who is demagnetized. He is full of fears and doubts. Opportunities come and he says, I might fail. I might lose my money. People will laugh at me. This type of man will not get very far in life because if he is afraid to go forward, he will simply stay where he is. Become a magnetized man and discover the mastery secret of the ages. Okay, I want to address something that's relevant to me and my YouTube channel when I started this as it relates to what we just read in this chapter. When I first started my YouTube channel, when I first started posting videos, I was visualizing a specific number at a specific time. And I was actually creating that. I was actually visualizing making a video, making a video and seeing the view count of the video before I actually even posted it. And what this did was it, it made me a magnetized man where I had no fear anymore. But before I visualized these things, I had all of these doubts because I was thinking about how it's gonna happen. I was thinking about all these different things that could go wrong, but until I visualized it and I, and I felt that it was real and I impressed the subconscious mind as I was going to sleep at night doing Neville Goddard's techniques, I lost all of that fear. All of that doubt was gone and it was like automatic. Like I woke up in the morning. I'm like, okay, so I got a little bit of time. I got this. I got to go to, I got to do this later. I got to do this in an hour. So I'm going to shoot a video right now. Just turn the camera on. Boom. It didn't even have a script or anything. I just right off the top of my head, turned it on. had no fear, had no doubts, didn't care about the result, completely detached from it. And before I knew it, I had 35,000 subscribers within six weeks. And it was exactly what I visualized to have, creating the video, visualizing it. And this created something within me and programmed the subconscious mind. It was almost like I lost free will at that point. Like once you impress the subconscious mind, you are going to do these things automatically. Like, But before I visualized it, before I felt it to be real and actually fell asleep doing it as if it was already done, I had fear. There's no way that I would have created this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel wouldn't even exist right now if I hadn't have used Neville Goddard's techniques, falling asleep, visualizing the end and losing all that fear. And just like what Joseph Murphy says right here, becoming a magnetized man man who does not have any fear and doesn't have any doubt and is detached from the result of it just there to have fun give value and allow the side effects to come from it and i just wanted to point that out because he doesn't really get clear when he talks about that becoming a magnetized person and a demagnetized person if you feel like you're a demagnetized person right now all you have to do is visualize it 
Visualize it in your mind, make it real, fall asleep with it, or affirm. Affirming works pretty well too. It absolutely works well. It creates images, you create thought forms in your mind and as if it's already completed, or scripting, writing out. I find that visualizing before I go to sleep is all, it works 100% of the time. If you land it right, like if you really, really work on it, you create it, you download all this information and you really see it, you feel it to be real and you just fall asleep with it, you go into the drift, into the subconscious and you will, at that point, lose free will and you'll be the person that you need to be that, well, you'll be the person that you were that impressed the subconscious mind as you fell asleep because when you're visualizing the end, you are now a different person. You are now the person that already has that. And you don't get what you want. You get who you are. So you're changing who you are as you're drifting into the subconscious mind. So the subconscious mind is like, whoa, okay, this, this is somebody completely different. Okay, so we're going to have to change all of these things. So then the subconscious mind then expresses a new version of you. And you wake up in the morning and now I'm shooting videos. I'm turning them on. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm, I'm making sure I find time to do this. I'm creating it. I'm getting all this interaction with everyone. I'm dedicated to getting to this number. I mean, I visualized the 35,000 subscribers within six weeks and I got it and it was no problem. And then I did it again and then I did it again. And anytime I do it now, it's going to happen again. I know it because once you impress the subconscious mind, you're going to get it. You may have to do some things, but it's going to be like automatic. You're going to be this new version of you and you're just going to go after it. You're going to get it. Everyone that has accomplished anything has either consciously or unconsciously pictured in their, in their mind as they were falling asleep, creating a new version. But a lot of times that takes so much more time to change your concept of yourself. But this is like a trick. It's like a trick to change who you are as you're falling asleep, like really, really work on it. So you're going from level two to level 10 within 30 minutes. And then you take, you're taking that new level 10 that you are, you're powered up to level 10 now, and then you go to sleep in that new version of you that's level 10. So when you impress the subconscious mind as level 10, you wake up as level 10, you're no longer level two. And now all of a sudden you've lost free will and you're doing all these things. You're accomplishing all these things. You're motivated. You're working out. You're bodybuilding. You're building businesses. You're, you're communicating. You're networking. You're doing all these things. And before you know it, you have all these things that you visualized. Everything that you visualized, you now have and more. So that's what I wanted to add to that segment. So if you want to become a magnetized person and you feel like you're a demagnetized person now, visualize the end. Affirm. Script it. Fall asleep with this new version of you from level two to level 10 and you will become a magnetized person. All right, so let's move on to the master secret of the ages. What in your opinion is the master secret of the ages? The secret of atomic energy, thermonuclear energy, the neutron bomb, interplanetary travel? No, not any of these. Then what is the master secret? Where can one find it and how can it be contacted and brought into action? The answer is extraordinarily simple. This secret is the marvelous miracle working power found in your own subconscious mind. The last place that most people would seek it, but we're understanding this now. So the marvelous power of your subconscious, you can bring into your life more power, more wealth, more health, more happiness, and more joy by learning to contact and release the hidden power of your subconscious mind. You need not acquire this power. You already possess it, but you want to learn how to use it. You want to understand it so that you can apply it in all departments of your life. As you follow the simple techniques and processes set forth in this book, you can gain the necessary knowledge and understanding. A new light can inspire you and you can generate a new force, enabling you to realize your hopes and make all your dreams come true. Decide now to make your life grander, greater, richer, and nobler than ever before. Within your subconscious depths lie infinite wisdom, infinite power, and infinite supply of all that is necessary, which is waiting for you to develop and express. Or wait, the subconscious mind is waiting for you to develop that and express that into your world. So begin now to recognize these potentialities of your deeper mind, and they will then take form in the world without. The infinite intelligence within your subconscious mind can reveal to you everything you need to know at every moment of time and point of space, provided you are open-minded and receptive. 
You can receive new thoughts and ideas enabling you to bring forth new inventions, make new discoveries, or write books and plays. Moreover, the infinite intelligence in your subconscious can impart to you wonderful kinds of knowledge of an original nature. It can reveal to you and open the way for perfect expression and true place in your life. Just like what I was saying earlier, once you find that feeling or that new concept of yourself, of really generating this new version of you and you're going to sleep, you're going to sleep at night, you take an, extra, an additional 20 minutes to get ready to go to sleep and you lay like in an odd position as you're falling asleep or you're sitting up so that way you don't fall asleep right away and you really start taking in this feeling of being this new person like how would it feel right now if i had this relationship or i had this car i had this career i was making this much money right now who would i be like what would this feeling be how would i how would i feel when i fell asleep if all of this was already accomplished who would i be how would i feel and then you visualize it and then you keep creating and then you you play it in this loop over and over and you just completely saturate and submerge yourself in this new version of yourself. It really can be simple. Once you really, really set out to do this, like you really set out to accomplish this new goal and this new feeling state, this new you, and you do it right before you go to sleep at night, you can even do it during the day and build it up. But as you fall asleep, that's the moment. That's the moment that it is created. That's when it's like, 100% impressed in the subconscious mind and it's tricking the subconscious mind to believe that you are now this level 10 person and now you now you're going to get all of these things so just think about that so through the wisdom of your subconscious mind you can attract the ideal companion as well as the right business associate or partner it can find the right buyer for your home and provide you with all the money you need and the financial freedom to be to do and to go as your heart desires it is your right to discover this inner world of thought, feeling, and power of light, love, and beauty. Through invisible, its forces are mighty. Within your subconscious mind, you will find the solution for every problem and the cause for every effect. Because you can draw out the hidden powers, you come into actual possession of the power and wisdom necessary to move forward in abundance, security, joy, and dominion. It's kind of like that once you impress the subconscious mind, you now lose the free will because you're a different person now. You're a new version of you. You don't have, there is no free will in the 3D world to act. All free will exists within your concept of self. It's within you. The world is actually within you. And depending on what version of you, that is the version of you that is going to fulfill whatever desire it, it, it feels that it can accomplish and is confident in doing that version of you is going to get those things. So when you change that, you lose free will, you automatically act, you do all these things to accomplish it. And that's the way that it works. And that's what he's talking about here. The wisdom necessary to move forward in abundance, security, joy, and, and dominion. The subconscious mind has the power to do all of these things, depending on who you are and what you feel you are as you're falling asleep. So I have seen the power of these subconscious lift people up out of the crippled states, making them whole, vital, and strong once more, and free to go out into the world to experience happiness, health, and joyous expression. There is a miraculous healing power in your subconscious that can heal the troubled mind and the broken heart. It can open the prison door of the mind and liberate you. It can free you from all kinds of material and physical bondage. Necessity of a working basis. Substantial progress in any field of endeavor is impossible in the absence of a working basis, which is universal in its application. You can become skilled in the operation of your subconscious mind. You can practice its powers with a certainty of results in exact proportion to your knowledge of its principles and to your application of them for definite specific purposes and goals you wish to achieve. Being a former chemist, I would like to point out that if you combine hydrogen and oxygen in the proportions of two atoms of the former to one of the latter, water would be the result. You are very familiar with the fact that one atom of energy and one atom of carbon will produce carbon monoxide, a poisonous gas. But if you add another atom of oxygen, you will get carbon dioxide, which is a harmless gas, and so on throughout the vast realm of chemical compounds. 
You must not think that the principles of chemistry, physics, and mathematics differ from the principles of your subconscious mind. Let us consider a generally accepted principle. Water seeks its own level. This is a universal principle, which is applicable to water everywhere. Consider another principle. Matter expands when heated. Matter expands when heated. This is true anywhere at any time and, all, and under all circumstances. You can heat a piece of steel and it will expand regardless whether the steel is found in China, England, or India. It is a universal truth that matter expands when heated. It is also a universal truth that whatever you impress on your subconscious mind is expressed on the screen of space as condition, experience, and event. Your prayer is answered because your subconscious mind is principle. And by principle, I mean the way a thing works. For example, the principle of electricity is that it works from a higher to a lower potential. You do not change the principle of electricity when you use it, but by cooperating with nature, you can bring forth marvelous inventions and discoveries which bless humanity in countless ways. Your subconscious mind is principle and works according to the law of belief. You must know what belief is, why it works, and how it works. Your Bible says in a simple, clear, and beautiful way, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Mark eleven twenty three. The law of your mind is the law of belief. This means to believe in the way of your the your mind works, to believe in belief itself. The belief of your mind is the thought of your mind. That is simple. Just that and nothing else. All your experiences, events, conditions, and acts, and acts are the reactions of your subconscious mind to your thoughts. Remember, it is not the thing believed in, but the belief in your own mind which brings about the result. Cease believing in the false beliefs, opinions, superstitions, and fears of mankind. Begin to believe in the eternal verities and truths of life which never change. Then you will move onward, upward, and Godward. Whoever reads this book and applies the principle of the subconscious mind herein set forth will be able to pray scientifically and effectively for himself and for others. Your prayer is answered according to the universal law of action and reaction. Thought is incipient action. The reaction is the response from your subconscious mind, which corresponds with the nature of your thought. Busy your mind with the concepts of harmony, health, peace, and goodwill, and wonders will happen in your life. So what he's saying here is, is get in touch with harmony, health, peace, and goodwill of your new version of your, find your new version of yourself. And then you impress that into the subconscious mind by falling asleep with this new you, this new level 10, and whatever that is. So your concepts of harmony, health, peace, goodwill, success, abundance, love, relationships, whatever you're trying to do. And like if you're trying to get a relationship or you're trying to get a specific person, I mean, just ask yourself as you're falling asleep, how would I feel? I mean, who would I have to be? And how would I feel right now if this person that I wanted to be with is actually laying next to me? Like, how would I feel right now? Like really, truly, how would I feel? And then uh, just, you know, submerge yourself in this feeling. Submerge, saturate yourself in that feeling and do it every single night. Do it every single night till it happens. And do the same process for anything that you're trying to create. This is, and, and you can even do revision, like revising the day. Like revise your entire day. So erase the day, everything that you actually did, but then recreate an entirely new day where you accomplished all these things. You were with these people. You were with your specific person. You were actually, you, you, ex you made all this money. You, you've conquered all these different things all day long. You're working or you're creating, you're doing all these things. You're manifesting all day and everything just went perfect, perfectly for you all day long. And how would you feel right now? because you don't actually have to do those things to change your concept of yourself now, but it's gonna create a new version of you that's automatically gonna do these things tomorrow or the next day, or whenever you actually impress the subconscious mind 100% with this new version of you, and then you're actually gonna be that person that you created yourself by revising the day. Create, it's all about just changing that feeling state, that your personality, your version of yourself, your concept of yourself, and whatever you need to do to do that, to create this feeling, whether that's through visualizing, affirming, or scripting, but even revising the day and creating the day that you wanted to live. 
Like create, why, why wouldn't you do that? Do it anyway. Recreate the entire day the way that you wanted it to go. Change it. If something bad happened, ma- recreate that scene. Make something good happen. It, it actually went the way you wanted it to go. Everything went the way that you wanted it to go all day. And then you create that feeling state. And then you take that into your subconscious lover or the subconscious mind. And then that will be projected or expressed into your, your 3D world tomorrow. Or, or it'll be expressed into the, the space of reality. So essentially what Joseph Murphy is explaining in this chapter is how powerful the subconscious mind is as it relates to the version of you that you're impressing into it based on your beliefs of who you are as a person. Like who are you? That's what you create is who you are and who the subconscious mind sees you as who you are. So who are you and how does the subconscious mind see you as? And then that will be created into your 3D reality, into the screen of space and change your reality. So use the visualization skills, the affirmations, and think about that, what we talked about by asking yourself those questions. You know, how would I feel right now? You know, if I already had this, you're laying in bed, you're taking 20 minutes, you're just absorbing yourself in this feeling and then create like pic- like the pictures, the mental images that are, that are that are associated with that end result already being accomplished to assist you in that feeling state. But you can start by doing, by asking yourself questions. If I already had this, how would I feel right now? Like ask questions because this creates these new pictures to come up in your mind. When you ask questions, it's, it's, these pictures will automatically come up in your mind about the future already being fulfilled, whatever that is that you're trying to create. So if it's like a relationship or a specific amount of money, a career, Whatever it is, you ask like, well, how would I feel right now if I was in this career or I was making this much money? All of a sudden, your mind's going to picture you in a different state as if it's now and, be, and being and doing and having the things that you want to have already and then in the present moment. So then you're going to create that feeling. So whatever like visuals pop up when that happens, try to be consciously aware of what that picture is and then grab that picture, take it and bring it close to you and then focus on it. That's why we go over to leaf exercise of developing your ability to focus on one thing. So when you see the picture, grab a hold of that picture, then maybe create like a little movie scene with it and then loop the movie scene over and over. Now that you're in this career, you're making this much money or whatever it is that you desire right now, create that mental, that mental movie in your mind and replay that. And that's what Joseph Murphy's talking about is the subconscious mind is that powerful. It doesn't know the truth. It doesn't know. It's impersonal. It doesn't know what's truth and what's a lie. It's just whatever you're impressing it with, with your current version of yourself, your concept of yourself is what it, is what it is expressing into the screen of space the following days when you have successfully done that. So that's what it creates. But I'm going to go ahead and, and finish this this video up right now and we're going to continue in part b because these are extremely long chapters but i want to cover this i've been wanting to cover this for quite some time and i've got so many requests on it but i'm going to stop it here at the duality of mind and i'm going to continue and like i said i'm going to create a playlist on this so that when we start getting through more of the chapters you can always just easily go back and watch them over again and like i said all of my other books that i cover have playlists so you can go back and check any of those out whenever you want. A lot of people ask me in the comments, where are the other videos? There's a playlist for each individual one. So you just have to go to the my YouTube channel and then look under the playlist and you'll see they're all itemized for each individual book and topic that I cover and you can find them right there. All right, guys, I love you. Don't forget to give me one thing you are grateful for or leave any success stories or any content you want me to leave in the future or create in the future. Just leave that in the column box below. And also I wanted to announce that I am now on several platforms on iHeartRadio Radio, Pandora Radio, iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Vimeo, Amazon Music, and many, many more. You can find those links in the description below. And I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Only God is your own wonderful human imagination.